Here we are today, the Avalon Guns Open Weekend. I'm joined with Andy Whitmore, uh, event organiser and owner of Avalon Guns. Andy, thanks for spending a bit of time with us. Just explain yeah, a little bit about today uh, and what, what the purpose is to it and what people can get out of it. Yeah, okay, um, we've been running this event now for about 15 years. Um, we started off at the shop open for the weekend and we used to bring people down here by minibus yeah. and uh, let them try guns and it became too uh, dysfunctional to... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, what we decided we'd bring our exhibition unit down here, bring all our stock and invite our clients down and new clients um, so they could see what it's all about. Now Brownie has been supporting the Avalon Guns Open Weekend for about 16 years. When they started, they started with the MK38. Andy, just talk us through sort of how things have progressed from 16 years ago to where we are today. Well, things haven't changed that much. Browning is still one of the forerunners of, of the uh, gun trade with models like the MK38, which have been around since, I don't know, 1970s, maybe, maybe a little before. Um, it's one of those that's never gone out of fashion. It's right. always been there, it's been our mainstay, one of our mainstay guns right the way through. In the last couple of years, the semi-autos have come into fashion. Uh, two years ago, we had the Super X3, which was the, um, the most popular gun. Last year, we introduced the, the new Maxus, and that was the star of the show. And this year, um, we've come up, we've got the Heritage 20 ball, right. which is a new model for this year, and the new 410 in 525, which we haven't done in the UK for a long time. This one has created a lot of interest because most of the 410s in the market are either extremely high grade and expensive guns or at the other end of the market really low. This one actually fits in around the £1,500 mark, so it is quite unusual. Oh, the only other model on the market is the Beretta Silver Pigeon. As always, Brown and Beretta. Is, it, and is this predominantly more for fill or for clay? This can be used for clays. However, it is predominantly designed as a game gun. So a good shot with a 410 mm. will be able to shoot any pheasant or partridge at realistic ranges, i.e. under 30 yards. The Avalon Open Weekend is a once-a-year event for enticing novices and experts to view and try various manufacturer's shotguns. With expert coaching and tuition available throughout the weekend, with four pay-as-you-go stands allowing consumers to try the guns at their leisure throughout the day. Competitions run by Steve Lovett of the Clay Pigeon Company form part of the Avalon weekend. The show is well supported by manufacturers with Browning, GMK, Caesar Guarini and Blaza all present at this year's show. It is good to see many families present and taking part on the clay lines. I'm joined with Julian on the Beretta stand, he's going to talk about the A400 light. Julian, just explain a little bit about the gun uh, and the family it's all part of and what it's ideally used for. Right, this is the A400 light, as you've mentioned. This is the sister gun to the A400 Explore Unico, which is a three and a half inch chamber gun. This particular model is only a three inch chamber gun, so mainly used for, for light field work. An example would be pigeon shooting. Right. Um, possibly a bit of duck shooting because it is still shot proof. Right. But would only be used for three inch chamber cartridge, not the three and a half inch. This gun also features the kickoff system that Beretta has developed to aid reduce aiding to reduce recoil. Um, so in unison with the gas operated system, um, makes a very smooth light shooting gun. Um, in about six weeks time we've got its brother coming along which is going to be the A400 uh, XL which is a sporting version. Right. Yeah. But this one also sits alongside the A400 Action. There's going to be two field models and then there's a gun that's really the, the, the designed for um, clay, sporting clay shooting. Uh, and then on the other side of the scale we've got the, the three and a half inch chamber gun which is the um, for more for wild fowling and still shot three and a half. So it really is designed as a, as a light field gun? It's a light field gun and it's, it's you know pigeon shooting I can see it being its main yeah. uh, port of call but a good all-rounder you can shoot clays with it you can shoot anything with it. Excellent well thank you very much for telling us a little bit more about the gun we we'll look no forward to seeing the new one in four to six weeks time yep, exactly. and uh, hopefully see you at CLA to tell us all about that one. Indeed. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. And you do you you do valuations yes. and you buy guns? Yes, we uh, do. Yeah. It's you know it's just like we're open for business. Just, just, just in a different location, yeah, we're able to shoot. Yes. Well, as you can see, it really is a fantastic weekend. Um, expert advice from some of the big names in the industry. Have your gun valued, serviced, all everything that can be catered for at this open weekend from Avalon Guns. Andy, thanks very much in thank time. You. Great show, and really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you.